everyone, welcome back to the range. Got some 9mm to test today. This is Winchester Ranger Series, black box, 147 grain, jacketed hollow point. Someone from the channel, I'm going to probably murder his name, Juned Hamid, donated these and the 127 grain. We'll run the 147 grain through the 3, the 5.1 inch and the 7.72 inch barrel. Then we'll test them against gel. Proconophile Chrono, it's about 70 degrees outside today at 10 to 12 feet. So up first is our little Sig Sauer P938 with a 3 inch barrel. Eight, sixty-three, eight, sixty-six, eight, eighty-seven. Get the magazine on that. Sorry. Eight, seventy-four, eight. 77, 927. Now our Beretta M9A3 with the 5.1 inch barrel. 928, 958, 985, 969, 943, 979. And finally our CZ Scorpion Evo with the 7.72 inch barrel. These should be subsonic. 1043, 1063, 1056, 1056, 1052, 1061. We have a clear ballistics gel block, 6x6x16, three and a half at 590. We have some water jugs behind it. We'll take one shot with the three inch, one shot with a 5.1 inch, and one shot with the 7.72 inch. Hopefully we get a velocity reading off these. 877. So you can see our wound track right there. It starts diving down. You can hear the water. Pretty unimpressive wound track, pretty much straight through. We penetrated this first milk jug here and we're sticking out of the back. So we did get some expansion. Talon started to open up there. We'll see what the 5.1 inch barrel does. So now we'll use the Beretta M9A3 with the 5.1 inch barrel. Nine thirty-eight. Shot was a little low there. Our five point one inch barrel. It's kind of the same thing. It's that bottom line right there. It actually dives down towards the bottom and is in this first milk jug. Did not penetrate all the way through. I imagine it lost a little bit of. Velocity there hitting the metal. Give me a second, I'll dig it out. There's a recovered bullet. Got a little more expansion out of that guy. Very uniform. That's a good thing. Penetrated, like I said, the entire block plus almost one milk jug. It's in the first milk jug. Hopefully, the Evo does a little better here. Now we'll take a shot with the Evo, 7.72 inch barrel. Hopefully, we should get some good expansion out of this. Velocity, 1034, right where I wanted it. This one right 
right here. Pretty much similar wound path as the other three, but we contained it within the 16 inches of the block. Looks like it bounced back a little bit. Give me a second, I'll dig that out. Like I said, pretty much just a straight wound ca cavity there. Not too much tearing as far as temporary cavity goes anyways. That looks to be all of a permanent cavity. There we go. That's very nice expanded for 147 grain. HST definitely opens better, but those talons are sharp taking that out of there. Okay. Definitely good results out of the 147 grain. Penetrated a good ways, expanded even more as we gain velocity. Definitely probably a service length or PCC length round. Thanks to Junid for donating the ammunition and you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.